this term you will come across many times if you are reading the uh, MCQs. In fact, it can be a potential MCQ. Which condition is associated with Venturi effect? The answer will be HCM. So, you need to understand what is Venturi effect. Venturi effect, it is a physics principle. Suppose there is water flowing in a tube, right? Whenever there is water flowing in a tube, the speed of flow will be say, will be normal, whereas outside pressure will be high. Pressure at these boundaries will be high. Venturi effect says whenever this flowing fluid tends to pass suddenly through a narrow tube, it is found that the speed tends to increase in this narrowed segment, whereas the pressure which was initially high, it tends to fall. And as it moves into a dilated area, again the speed becomes normalized, whereas the pressure again becomes high. So, what exactly is Venturi effect? Whenever flowing fluid passes through a narrow area, the pressure in that area suddenly tends to fall, whereas the speed of flow tends to increase. What is the importance of this? This is what produces LV outflow tract obstruction in patients of hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. Let us try to understand this Venturi effect, what exactly is happening. Look at this diagram. As you can see, there is some, uh, this is a normal heart, right? Whenever LV contracts, this is your left atrium, this is your left ventricle and this is the mitral valve, okay? This part is called as the anterior leaflet of mitral valve, correct? Whenever LV contracts, this aortic valve opens and blood moves into the aorta. This is what normally happens. Now, imagine there is a patient of hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. In hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, what will develop? This asymmetric septal hypertrophy will form. So, this segment will become narrow like this, right? Ab narrowing se kya hua? Whenever LV is contracting, blood, the jet of blood moving into aorta is now flowing through a narrow area. So, speed of flow is increasing, right? Speed of flow increasing will produce a murmur here. At the same time, Venturi effect says, whenever it will flow through a narrow area, there will be a low pressure area created there. And this low pressure area causes displacement of this mitral valve into this area producing a complete obstruction. To illustrate, look at this diagram. There is asymmetric septal hypertrophy here, right? Now, the, when fluid is moving through a narrowed area, low pressure area was created here. And due to this low pressure area, the mitral valve leaflet moved inwards producing a complete obstruction. This is called as anterior motion of mitral valve leaflet. This occurs due to Venturi effect and this produces a significant left ventricle outflow tract obstruction. It is also called as systolic anterior motion of mitral valve leaflet or SAM of mitral valve leaflet, right? So, this is the reason why these patients tend to develop complete obstruction during systole and the uh, intensity of obstruction varies from person to person.